Opener P très rapidement, c'est une compagnie qui est fondée en 2004, qui est belge à la base. Euh, ils ont quatre bureaux dans le monde, à peu près 180 employés et 350 partenaires, compagnies partenaires, qui sont des intégrateurs du logiciel dans les entreprises dont Savoir Faire Linux fait partie. Euh, et c'est donc un une compagnie qui édite le logiciel OpenERP, qui est une suite complète d'applications de gestion qui fonctionne sur un principe de module, qui s'imbrique tous les uns dans les autres. Euh, disponible dans 25 langues par défaut, à peu près 1000 téléchargements par, par jour et euh, on compte à date 2600 modules disponibles entre 6 et 700 qui ont été développés et qui sont supportés par la compagnie éditrice OpenERP SA et 2000 qui ont été développés par la communauté voilà donc dans les modules de base qu'on peut retrouver euh, c'est vraiment les fonctionnalités qui répondent au maximum on va dire au, au plus grand nombre de enfin, besoins les plus grands des entreprises, euh, tout ce qui est la gestion des ventes, gestion des achats, gestion du personnel, la comptabilité, les stocks, la production, les projets, mais on peut justement, à l'aide de Python, développer des modules vraiment spécifiques et des fonctionnalités, et on peut aller vraiment dans le détail et répondre à tous les besoins de la compagnie. C'est vraiment le gros intérêt de pouvoir développer des modules spécifiques en Python. Tous les modules, une fois qu'ils ont été validés, sont disponibles sur OpenERP Apps. Je vous invite à aller faire un tour pour voir un petit peu justement l'étendue de tout ce qu'il y a comme module disponible pour la, pour la commune, enfin, qui ont été édités par la communauté, qui sont disponibles comme ça en logiciel libre. Je vais maintenant passer la, la parole à, à Joao qui va vous expliquer un petit peu plus en détail l'implication de Python dans OpenERP. OpenERP is built in Python and all the extension models are built in Python and it's a cool and nice open source software. Now we will see how we can develop models and how we can integrate with the community and contribute to the project. So these are the main sites where Uh, we develop OpenRP. It's hosted in Launchpad. I'm pretty sure you all guys know Launchpad, and so it's it's bazaar. It's not good, but it's cool anyway. <laughs> so here we have the the page with the main projects, the server. Where, where we can have access to the code. Uh, the stable branch is the 6.1 and the, the trunk, it will be the, the, the 7.0. But for now we're working with the 6.1 and this is the server. And we have the, the client, which is made in for the web. We used to have a, a GTK client We still have it actually, but uh, it's deprecated. For now, the, the, the main interface, it's the web interface. So if you, if you guys want to contribute, you can branch the project, the server or the client or the add-ons. This is the add-ons is actually where the fun starts because it's where are the models that uh, gives all the functionality like uh, warehouse management, the CRM and everything. This is kind of a model in OpenRP. It's not very different from a package. We usually have a, a a folder add-ons and a folder with the model name and then init, point .py and a very important file, openrp.py that's where goes all the information about that openrp needs to know to, to install the model and there go the files with functionalities where we define models 
and where we define videos and where we define reports and all the standard uh, business type of software thing. What we're going to do now is we're going to create a small model to illustrate the, the, the model development. This model will, will help to manage the Montreal Payton events. Uh, it's based on the, the event module. It's a standard model and we're going to extend it to add functionality. And we're going to have three interactions. The interaction 0 0.1, 1, 0.2 and 0.3. And here we go to the 0.1. It does nothing. 0.1. Here I have an a nil installed instance of OpenRP. And we're gonna look for our models. And and here I have our model, our newly created model. And we're gonna install. And I'm gonna search for a lot of dependencies. We have a config parameter that says the, 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 the folders where you can get the models. It's uh, add-ons there. Okay. We install. We're gonna have to do some boilerplate work because it started the account models as well, it was a dependency, but it would be quick. And we have our model started, but it does nothing. All this is from the, the, the standard events model. But let's see what we have to do to get this nothing. So this is the only file that's in our project for now. And it's a dictionary with the definition of the model. Information about the, the, the editor, the developers, the dependencies. Install a lot of stuff because our model depends on the event model that depends on the accounting model and a lot of other stuff. We have no demo, we have no data. But it's officially a model. Right now we're going to go to the 0.2 interaction. And in this interaction we're going to add two new fields called event technical level that the says the, the level of the conference and we have three levels newbie average Joe programmer and hardcore ninja kernel developer and the speaker technical level that uh, goes with lame and not so lame well I'm gonna stop my 1.0 I'm gonna start my 2.0 or oh, 0.2 I already created an, an event this conference And in our model, we have this event technical level, which we have hardcore, newbie, average show programmer. And in the speakers, we have the speakers technical level. And cool, you see the result, but you don't see why it's there. And that's what I'm going to show you. In our version 0.2, we have a data file. This data file defines the modifications that we have in the view. All views in OpenRP are XML files. So when you see this interface, it's generated from an XML file. 
and then you can start to ask, but wow, it's a big interface and, and you have only two fields. But the thing is, it's an inherited interface that is inherited from view event form. And you can go find view event form. So this big chunk of XML code, it's the complete view with all the, the, the pages and all the groups that we saw in the interface. And I extended that view from my file. I added two fields, and but those fields came from where? I also extend the model in OpenRP, which is a MVC system. We have model views and controllers, standard procedure. And this is a model controller, actually, because the models are in the PostgreSQL database. And this is also a model that is based on the parent model, that's event. So we added two new fields that are selection fields. And like this, it creates the, 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 the fields in the database and it manages the, the tables and everything. And now, in the version 0.3, I added a report. Now in our event, we have a nice report, a nice PDF report. That is a list of the participating people for the guy in the door who keeps note, who came and who didn't came, who said it would come and didn't come. It, it's a valid business need. But how do we get this result? I'm gonna go again to the code. In our open ERP, we have another file report. In that file, the report engine in open ERP is based on Report Lab. I'm pretty sure you all know Report Lab. It uses RML, Report Markup Language. And we can generate these files, these RML files from uh, OpenOffice files. And we have this report folder. When I have a report render, where I say the name of the RML file and the name of the render, which is an AM RML parser. And I have a nice not at all dirty RML file with the dynamic content between these brackets. Questions? It's a little fast, but there's a time in here.